What are you working on? Nothing. Nothing important. Did that happen? I dropped a match into the bin. <laughs> Things to say to Sarah. Hi, Sarah. My name's Bob. <laughs> I'm a cancer. What are you? Give that here, please. Hello, Sarah. Alison. Do you think, as I do, the Western civilization has lost its way? Alison. Perhaps we could discuss it over a pancake. How dare you? <laughs> You shouldn't be so secretive. It's just an exercise to pass the time. Don't worry. I won't tell your wife that you're obsessed with the girl that delivers your sandwiches. There is a difference, actually, Alison, between sordid extramarital lust and the desire for an enriching platonic friendship. Which is yours? I don't know! <laughs> I'm trying to find out. Well, if you're thinking of asking her out, I wouldn't advise, hello, can I just say you have amazing baps? <laughs> well, Colin, you've been here a month. How are you finding it? Oh, very stimulating. Uh, you never really know what the job's going to be like until you actually do it, do you? It's a challenging time, but uh, I'm confident I've made the transition quite effectively. <laughs> Good. Can I just touch on one or two little niggles that have cropped up? Niggles? Yeah, tiny, little, you know. Um, on your first day, you accidentally stabbed an elderly client through the forehead with your paper knife, didn't you? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. And the following week, you misunderstood the word intestate and accidentally advised a grieving widow that her husband had died having no testicles. <laughs> yes, that was me. And uh, later on that week, you rolled up a valuable 15th century title deed and used it to stir your coffee accidentally. It's so easy to do. <laughs> but will you do one thing for me in future? Will you try to be less incompetent? Uh, Scamp Henderson Dolby say you must be joking. Um, Cliff Slynn wants to drop his mental cruelty claim against Feltham Welding. Brian Wiggs cancelled possible urinary infection. <laughs> and, um, could you uh, sign Darren's birthday card? How's the conveyancing going on Dick's house? Oh, very well. They're completing today. Happy birthday, Darren. Not exactly John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, is it? <laughs> Any ideas for a present? Anything he can't smoke, break or enjoy. <laughs> How do we get into this ridiculous tradition of buying birthday presents? I think it was part of your drive to encourage the junior staff. <laughs> Happy birthday, Darren. Don't hesitate if you ever want to leave the firm. <laughs> I suppose it's a form of encouragement. Hello, Bob. Mr Arnold. How's the family? Oh, fine, fine. Tim's just gone to the Isle of Wight, which is nice. Parkhurst? Parkhurst, yes. 
<laughs> we buried my grandmother on Tuesday. Why? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sorry. I... Of course. My wife's talking to me again. Good, good. Through a solicitor, admittedly, but it's a start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still, it's uh, been quite a good week for me, really. Well, I was going to say. I just wanted to thank you for putting that surveying work my way. Oh, please, it's... Um... Which is why I'm sorry I very slightly let you down. Uh, four weeks ago, you gave me that uh, surveying job on the Dick Spackman house. Dick, yes? Um, I suppose being a senior partner, he's uh, quite important in your life. <laughs> oh, yes. Why? I didn't do the survey. <laughs> Who did it, then? Nobody. I made it up. <laughs> I didn't go to the house. It had been a particularly tricky week. Well, how do we know the house isn't about to fall down? Ah, well, that brings me on to the second point. <laughs> It probably is about to fall down. Um, I surveyed another house in the area, and it was subsiding into the garden. Oh, you decided to turn up for that survey, did you? What was it, Lucky Tuesday or something? <laughs> Alison, would you please answer the phone? Phone. Answer. I'm sorry. We're supposed to be completing the purchase today. Dick's house is all packed up. He'll lose thousands of pounds in deposit if he pulls out today. And he'll probably sack me for not using a reliable surveyor. Oh, well, I am reliable when I turn up. <laughs> to go back and do the survey now. Oh, no, I'm a bit busy today. It's my turn to take Donnie to the child psychologist. <laughs> 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 Alison, should we just read back some of the letters you've typed up this morning? OK. I'm going to do it quietly. <laughs> Dear Sid, I think you mean sir. <laughs> Thank you, percentage sign, asterisk, replying so swirtly to my queer of last weem. <laughs> As a dong-stending member of the bra, you may be a waif that the bra council... There should be bar. No, really? You do them again, please. Morning. Bob, all set for my house purchase? Absolutely. Everything akimbo? <laughs> a good work, Bob. Completion papers in my office in your own time. Stella. Dick. Do you know what it's like to hold your future in your hands? Oh, I haven't heard that line since my first husband unzipped himself in the middle of Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> my new house. It's going to be large enough for you and all your family. But it's a model. Oh, I see. Uh, a friend of mine mocked it up from the particulars. Dick, you haven't even bought it yet. <laughs> the, the door's open, look. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Noises too. Does it do family members weeping and crockery breaking? No, no, no that, that was that was me. Ding dong. See, Dick, it is a lovely house, and I wish you every happiness. Oh, there. thanks. Sorry, I'm a bit. Um, I know there, there's a depressing air of incompetence about this place at the moment. No one seems able to concentrate. I can, will you stop playing with your house? I'm sorry. Now please talk to Alison. She's obviously using this office as a bedroom in between raves. I've tried the big stick approach, but maybe you can motivate her by encouraging her. Oh, fine. Oh, look! He's put in a little sofa. <laughs> Bob, bit of a hitch. The owner won't let me in. What did you tell him? Well, that I'd left my pencil in the house when I did the survey. He said, great, I'll keep that then, and shut the door in my face. Look, just stay there, and I'll think of something. Thinking of something, Bob. <laughs> we have a crisis over Dick's house purchase. Crisis, Bob? Look, I want you to join Mr Arnold at Dick's house and help him to get in to do a survey. OK. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> it's my birthday today. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose what I'm doing is appealing to your um, sense of um, you know, what not and um, asking you to, um, uh, you know. So, ah, uh, that done the trick? Yes. Good, then we'll say no more about it. Just 
sign Darren's birthday card. It's, it's gone very quiet on my house. Shouldn't I be getting the keys? Shortly. Tiny temporary wobble. <laughs> Alison didn't... No, Alison, no, no, I was doing a bit of staff encouragement for Stella. Actually, I seem rather good at it. Have you got any well, worries at all I could sort out? Oh. <laughs> well, um, since you ask. Uh, you've signed this happy birthday house. I? Oh, well, he'll know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> um, returning to worries. Uh, uh, yes, yes. I, I am rather smitten, well, more than smitten, by the, by the young woman who delivers the sandwiches here. She got a house? <laughs> actually know. She ought to get one. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello. I'm an architectural expert and I was intrigued by one or two lovely touches in your interior and I wondered if I might come in for a moment. <sighs> understand what he was saying. <laughs> Alison, you have a job here because your boyfriend is an estate agent. And in these difficult times, frankly, solicitors would rather submit to a public flogging than offend... <laughs> Even so, if you are not alert for the rest of the day, I will sack you and give you a reference so damning employers won't only refuse to employ you, they'll want to tie you to a desk and slap you till you bleed. Is that clear enough? a blue sports car. And what if I have? Well, I, I think someone's trying to steal it. Oi! <laughs> Oi, <come on>! <laughs> <laughs> Any news from Colin? Colin? No. Why? Do you want some coffee? Try some, it'll wake you up. It's woken me up. I'm all chirpy. You're not chirpy. Alison, I think we should go easy on... Do you want a caffeine pill? I got one from the chemist. They give you a buzz. You need a buzz. You're dreary. <laughs> Stella's going to sack me if I don't wake up. <laughs> Let's tidy. Hi. Hello, Darren. No, no, Alison. No, no, Lee, no. <laughs> So, do you, uh, do you, like, want to share anything with me? <laughs> oh, well... Oh. All right, then. Oh, great. Um... Well, uh... Do you, as a, as a young person, think it is fundamentally possible, and if so, is it desirable for young people, you know, for example, a young woman, to be attracted to an older person. Where's my present, then? <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, of course. Um, I, I'm just wrapping it. Oh, right, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Darren's present. Conveyancing's bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> I hate solicitors. You shouldn't need them. I hate them, even though I work for one. That's the irony. <laughs> kind of weird. Weird! <laughs> What happened? I managed to keep the owner out of the house long enough. Thank you, Alison. <laughs> and 
and took a bit of a tumble. It's, uh, it's OK on the straight, but it's actually quite hard to push a car around around. But I don't <laughs> care. Is Dick's house going to fall down? No, it's fine. Oh, marvellous. Oh, well done. That's it. Full steam ahead. Alison, home the vendor solicitors. <laughs> That's one good thing, at least. <sighs> um, can I ask you some advice? Of course. Um, I don't know how to put this. Um, you probably haven't noticed from my behaviour, but, um... You're infatuated. You noticed? Well, her name's... Sarah. <laughs> yes. Out there, well, in the office, in fact, are several dozen baps that I've ordered from her over the last few weeks. If you're thinking of starting a stall, I think mould might be a problem. Stella, I want a one-word answer from you, please. Although Sarah's probably 15 years younger than me, she doesn't even know how I feel about her. Do I have to abandon all thoughts of her? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, bearing in mind that my marriage to Virginia is as, is as rocky as... A, what's very rocky? Gibraltar. Do I not have a duty to pursue the chance of real love at all costs? No. Do feel free to veer off the one-word answers at any point. I'm sorry, Bob, but uh, for your own good, don't make a fool of yourself. Thanks. I'm sure you're right. So I shouldn't invite her out for a pancake, then? <laughs> Just throw myself into my work and... Forget all about her. Yeah. Come on. How is, uh, how's Alison? Quite lively, actually. <laughs> this will be a snooker room. Oh, great. Can I come and play? Um, uh, sadly, no. Is it time for my, uh, time for my present now, then? Oh, yes. Uh, Bob, do you want to do the honours? Oh, of course. Um... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear office boy. Happy birthday to you. You might not want to open it now, you might... No, no, it's all right. <laughs> I thought we'd go for something rather different this year. To Antrovin Banana Bat. <laughs> Is that it? No. Oh. Makes little holes in paper. <laughs> Good, well, that's that. Sherry's all round in my office, everyone. And not you, boy, after that disgusting Bristol cream incident. <laughs> uh, I think these belong in Dick's property file. Thank you. Colin? Question, Bob? These are the. These are the replies from the council to our search inquiries. Mm -hmm. You did check them, didn't you? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. No. No, not actually that. Was I supposed to? Yes. That was the one thing you were supposed to do. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs>
Hello, Sarah. I don't know about you, but I'm fascinated by local history. Are you? <laughs> Alison, would you please wake up? <laughs> Hello. I saw the light on. I, I wondered if you'd still be up here. I've just been working late. Bit of a backlog. Backlog. <laughs> I brought you something. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. It was left over. Well, you haven't ordered anything today. First time in weeks. I was sort of worried about you. Actually, I have an allergy to yeast. Bread makes my face swell up like a big potato. <laughs> May I just say you have amazing baps? Thank you. No, not you. Sorry. Of course, the drawing room is rather small, so we will be knocking through it. Can I join you, or is this a private funeral? <laughs> yeah, just excuse me, I'm going to say a few words. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for coming to our housewarming on this, our first day here. Uh, special thanks to my wife, who phoned up the caterers, <laughs> and uh, to Bob and Colin, who did the conveyancing. <laughs> Now, as a family, uh, we've lived in quite a few houses, and this, let me say, will be the last. <laughs> so, if you'd just like to uh, raise your, um, your, your glasses. Did we, um, mention the handy new helicopter facility? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.